it's Anna here from Paper Craft Create and welcome to my channel. This video is part of a hop and we will be highlighting an upcoming virtual crafting retreat. This retreat is being hosted by the recently rebranded Crafty Stamp Co, formerly known as Copictopia Creative, and we will be using the stamp sets that are going to be featured in this retreat. This is it is called the Boo Camp Retreat, being Halloween themed and is on the 19th of October 2024. It will feature 10 projects and there is a link below in the description box for the information page where you can register to take part in the retreat yourself. There are five tier options starting from basic to the whole shebang, so something for everyone. As the Crafty Stamp Co. is a sponsor of Kendra's Card Challenge 15, we will also be using a sketch as inspiration to create a project using these fun stamp sets. I will be creating a 3D envelope pouch to put some goodies in and I will embellish it with inspiration from the card sketch number 7, as you see here. I will start with a piece of 9 by 9 inch patterned paper. I will score at one side at two and three eighths and then I will flip it over and score it again at two and three eighths. I then turn it 90 degrees and I will score at two and three quarters. This becomes the bottom of the pouch. So if you're using directional paper, you may want to just keep that in mind, um, how it's going to be because it will be turned up. I'll then score, oh, sorry, score, so burnish all those score lines, um, making them very crisp folds so that um, the pouch will come together nicely and um, won't buckle over when I'm putting it all together. Uh, with this bottom one, I just like to burnish it back and forth just because it will um, be sitting upright. Now we'll just fold back those two top corners so that they're in line with the edge on each of those sides. Um, and just making a nice crisp fold there as well. We now need to um, adhere the two sides together. So using some strong adhesive, I'm going to do a double dosage of adhesive. So some dry adhesive and then I'll be putting some glue as well just to ensure that it will stay on nicely. Ideally some sort of very strong double-sided tape um, will do the job glue obviously of course as well you just need to make sure that you wait that the glue if you're using glue on its own that it you know will be dry before you move on with too much um, once again doing the same i'll be folding up that bottom section which will become our front pocket to this pouch um, once that's folded up now just sort of align it to one side so that it, it um, will affix nicely i actually pulled it away in just a minute you'll see me do that um it wasn't quite straight on one side and uh, things like that really bother me it may not so much to you it will stick out a little bit because it is sort of you know paper folder on top of itself which is totally fine you just need to make sure that bottom layer does adhere um, because you'll be putting stuff inside it so it actually gives you a little bit of lead way to um, put your goodies inside so this front section this is where I'm using my inspiration from card sketch number seven and of course I've colored my gorgeous little monsters or oh, monster there is another one to come um, so I'm using a patterned piece for this the um, mat of this um, card sketch it is um, I think it's just a, a plain a plain one in the uh, on the actual card sketch but I thought pattern paper and the orange would look great um, a nice pop of color off this background and I'm just using the two strips which are called for in the sketch um, out of some nice glittery um, orange glittery um, patterned cardstock paper and I'll just align those there so what I've done is I've actually used a frame die um, that has a scalloped edge and just used it on one side one that's bigger than this piece of paper to create a border uh, which is something to do if you don't have border dies um, and I'm just evening up those edges um, now with this one here because that will be slightly well when I say buckled you just want to make sure that you're um, adhering it quite well as well on top of this pocket because once you put your goodies inside you don't want that to pop off either um, that will be really good so I'm doing the double adhesive on that so as you can see 
you know, you can use the card sketches as inspiration. Um, not necessarily always for a card front, um, but, you know, you can use them in other little things. And I've just resized this a little bit, um, more so the height than the width. Um, but, you know, it's, it's really good when you've got to make something like this and you sort of need some ideas. You know, you've got the ideas there, you just can apply them in a different way. So I'm just making sure that's all nicely adhered. Now I've got my gorgeous little monster here who's absolutely just the cutest. <laughs> um, I'm going to pop him up on some foam tape just to give him a little bit of dimension there. And um, I've also stamped out one of the sentiments um, on uh, as part of the stamp set, um, which is uh, I'm just here for the candy, which in most cases that is my, my uh, thoughts and sentiments as well. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I thought really, really quite fitting for, for a monster, <laughs> which is so cute. So I'll just angle him on one side there. I think the card sketch, um, had some focal point sort of higher on that, uh, right side. Um, I've just taken up a bit more, um, of the side, but certainly, um, still very sort of true to the original card sketch used. Um, so I've just cut around, fussy cut around the sentiment and um, once again, popping it up on the foam tape. And um, I'm just going to add that to the front as well. I always have a fiddly time with uh, using these foam tapes and getting the strips off. If anyone has any tips, I'd love to hear them. <laughs> um, it seems to always, particularly when you're filming, not want to come off. So... I just love these little critters so much. I wanted to use another one. So I thought what I might do is I might add a little tag inside um, to go with this. So I've, I've just coloured in another one of those gorgeous little monsters. Now, um, I will include the Copic colours that I've used if you'd like to use the same colourways. Um, obviously very fitting for Halloween. Um, but, of course, if you would love to learn how to colour these images um, by the professional um, herself you can definitely um, have a look at the details for this retreat and you'll get some very detailed tutorial and training on how to uh, color in these amazing images um, so i've just once again um you know popped a little monster on the foam tape and just add him on and i also just fussy cut around a little um <clears throat> candy bonbon I think it is there that um, I've just added and I'm just adding a little bit of um, ribbon just to you know add a little bit of extra bling to my um, not so blingy but you know a little bit of extra interest <laughs> to my little tag there I just thought I just couldn't resist using another one of these little monsters and I thought what a great way it adds a bit more color um, and certainly you know another little gorgeous accent to this gift in total um, so I'll just now uh, bring in all my little candy bars um, which uh, in the end I don't in fact use all of them there's one left over which I'm very happy about because I'll eat that myself <laughs> um, but yes I you know, I, I showed you earlier uh, at the very beginning of the video whilst I was talking about um, all the details, how I um, custom wrap those. Obviously, it's not too hard. You just got to get the right measurements. Just make sure there's probably an overlap of about half an inch um, just so you can secure that on. And I think it just adds something really great to it. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.